Introducing Billy Dillard with the Billy Dillard Art Show. He's an accomplished sculptor, airbrush artist, chainsaw, and power carver, and that's just to name a few of his skills. He works in multiple mediums to create enchanting works of art. Everything you see here has been done by him and his crew. Any work of art you're looking to have created or skill you're wanting to learn, he's your guy. So without further ado, prepare to be amazed by your favorite artist, Billy Dillard. Hi there, this is Billy Dillard here at the Billy Dillard Art Show. So today what we're working on is the sculpture to be able to put the hummingbird into this sculpture to um, add it to the fairy house theme we got going on. So I'm working on the armature. I'm all, I've almost got this flower here done and I was using Smooth On Light I believe is the name of the product but I'll double check that and make sure. This sculpting epoxy is a lot lighter weight than the other sculpting epoxies I use. Uh, I wanted to try to keep the weight down on this where I can maneuver it around because if I would use your typical sculpting epoxies, this size, this much material would get heavy fast. Um, what I'm doing right now is I got my armature almost done for the next flower that's going to go right here. So today I'm going to bend uh, just a couple of pieces to finish this off to show you how I did it. It's really simple. At least I, I think it's simple. So right here we got, they call this pencil rod. And you can get this at um, a welding supplies, uh, excuse me, uh, metal supplies. Uh, your regular hardware store, they might carry it, but I would look for um, a wholesaler of metal products. And you can get this. This is a... Some of it's quarter inch and some of it is eighth inch material. And this here is a three eighths inch rebar. Now the rebar I got at Home Depot. And this copper colored stuff, that is actually a welding rods that you would uh, a gas acetylene weld with. And I like it for this here because this is gonna be the edge of the flower. So I need that flower to be thin. I don't want it to be thick. So I didn't wanna use a thicker material like I got here. This here, you, you don't need a whole lot of strength right here anyway. Okay, so I've got my hearing protection on. I got my, these are supposed to be safety glasses, which they're not. <laughs> so, I got my quarter inch pencil rod material. This is mild steel, by the way. And I'm just kind of eyeball it about what size I need. I got my cutoff saw here. Uh, that looks pretty good. All right, now, go back over here. So you can do this different ways. I got my uh, anvil over there I can use. This table's got a hole in it, which works pretty good. So it's just a matter of eyeballing. Wow, that's, that's pretty close right there. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to wrap it with wire anyway and then you're going to use your sculpting epoxy on it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So don't drive yourself crazy with this. I'm going to fire up the welder and tack that in place real quick. Okay, so I got my quarter inch mild steel pencil rod. Got my MIG weld machine set up. And um, I'm going to tack it in place to show you how to do that. Pretty simple. Hmm... Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tack it here and then I'm gonna bend it. So let's see how that works. Close your eyes. And as you noticed, uh, well, I don't know, hopefully you noticed, um, but when you start hitting it, and welding it, this pencil rod heats up pretty quick, and I was actually able to bend it with my thumb. Now that's 
I didn't get enough to hold it. This piece right here, I'll end up uh, cutting it off, or I might heat it up with a, the torch and wrap it around there, because this part's going to end up being a vine. So anyway, I got to make another one for over here, so I'll do that one real quick. All right, so there again, um, we're going to bend this other piece. As you see, I don't try to make it too big a bend at one time, but if I, met, if I mess up, that's easy to fix if I go too much. So now we check this here. Then we just take a little bit out. I could use that, the anvil that my daughter's about to trip over, but... <laughs> oh, you mean this one? Yeah. <laughs> that thing right there smacking your way. Okay, I need to take a little bit more of that out. And then so you can just kind of look at it and make sure you're right there. There's a hard spot right there. That's pretty good. You, you kind of want the bend to kind of flow. There again, like I said, it doesn't got to be perfect, but the better you get this, when you wrap your wire, depending on whatever shape you're going for, you want to keep in mind, the better you get the shape of the wire, the less epoxy you're going to have to use to fill it out. I don't like being wasteful. Cool thing is here is I can go from the inside. Ready? All we do at first is just tack it in place, see if it's kind of close to what we want, and it is. Now just that amount, amount of heat allowed me to bend that rod over pretty easy. Now I can tack it again right here. Okay, now that will definitely hold that in place, and then I can... Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to run another bead right here just to heat it up enough where I can squeeze this down. So, and as you can see right there, by doing that tack weld right there, it heated that whole rod enough I could just take and squeeze that piece back in. Now it's just a matter, like I say, if I want to, when I turn this into the vine, I'll heat it up with a torch and take it. I'll clamp a pair of vice grips here, heat it with a torch and wrap it. So now I'm going to get the hummingbird and show you what we got going on there. I got to do the armature work here. It'll come up, it'll be a, it'll be a limb, and it'll, I'll weld it to this piece here. And that will make it look like the hummingbird is kind of hovering. And it's almost touching the limb, but it's also the part of the support for the hummingbird. So as you can see, we got a ways to go. And I would love to be able to show you every bit of this as far as how I did all of it, but I think you'd get really bored. <laughs> I wouldn't keep your attention that long. So if when you're watching this and you come up with questions that you're not sure about, and you, it's just a matter of asking me, I'll be more than happy to help you any way I can as far as if you're working a, a project and what kind of materials you might need to use or it may be something you don't want to tackle on your own and you need help with it or something you don't want to tackle at all and you want someone else to do it so it's just a matter of going to my website and on my contact page you'll find my phone number you'll find where you can leave a comment to ask me any questions so just go there and ask me I'll be more than happy to help you so anyway, until next time, see you later.